All right, what's up, YouTube? This video right here is going to be about the only real truth teller that ever existed on planet Earth. Okay? So, I'm going to prove a lot of things to you guys in a very short amount of time. And I think this is going to make a lot of you people understand real quick. Because I myself just recently learned a few things that really put all this into perspective, right? So let's start. We're going to start off all the way at the beginning. And I'm going to keep this simple. I'm not going to overcomplicate it because that's what, that's what people have done throughout history, trying to make themselves appear to be more intelligent, right? But I'm just going to break it down to you real easy. Right. So from from Adam and Eve to Noah was about 2000 years, give or take until from Adam and Eve to the flood. OK, then from the flood until the existence of Jesus Christ, about another 2000 years. OK, <clears throat> then from the birth of Jesus Christ until now is 2,024 years, okay? Now pay attention to what I just said. So for some reason, the existence of Jesus Christ caused all the powers that be throughout the world to reset our timeline at that point. Okay, at some point, our whole timeline was based on Jesus Christ. From his birth to all the way till now is 2,024 years. So now pay attention, every 2,000 years, this it looks like this impending doom happens on the planet. You can try to deny this. You can try to say that the Bible is made up, okay? But listen to this, okay? And as far as, um, as far as, it, it wasn't Mohammed that reset our timeline. It wasn't Buddha, it wasn't Shiva, it wasn't Santeria, it wasn't Hashem, it wasn't Thoft, it wasn't none of these characters were worthy enough to reset our timeline. Pay attention, okay? Because it's gonna go deep, fast, right? So, Jesus has showed up to many, many people throughout history. In his time on earth, he did a lot of miracles that were written about, but also a lot were not written about, okay? You know, um, and he did this to prove to all of us that he was really the son of God, okay? Now, from water to wine, to raising Lazarus from the dead. Now, after he raised one person from the dead, that should have been it as far as him proving himself to anybody. But he kept doing it over and over and over. Okay? He kept doing it. And it's like, even to the point 
where he was raised from the dead. As he raised, as he was raised from the dead, he also raised the whole graveyard along with him. Okay? And they sang and praised Jesus Christ. Okay, now, if you listen to Pilate's report, you know, there's, I'll put maybe like a, a link down in the comments or something. It's on the internet, right? Now, you can say it's fake. You can say it's this. You can say it's counterfeit. You can say all that, okay? But in this report, um, the rich Jews had put like a hundred guards around Jesus Christ's graveyard because they were basically tried to say his disciples were going to try to steal the body and hide it. Okay. So that graveyard was like guarded, they say. And that whole, when that whole graveyard lit up, um, the guards all passed out. And when they woke up and got questioned by the rich Jews, they tried to bribe them to lie and say somebody stole Jesus's body. Okay. Now, when the Romans came to ask the Jewish guards what happened, they allegedly told the truth and said this, this is really what happened. You know, like the whole graveyard lit up and, you know, Jesus Christ raised from the dead. He raised the whole graveyard with him and they sang and praised him, man. And at this point, based on all the miracles that he pulled throughout his life and everything that people had seen and heard, even the rich Jews at that point realized and acknowledged that they had killed the son of God. They knew it. And they've been lying about it and hiding it ever since as much as they can for the most part. That's why they, in Hollywood, that's why they turned Jesus Christ's name into a swear word right under our noses and, and then kind of indoctrinated everybody to say it and not even realize what they're really doing because these are the same people that killed him. Same people that run Hollywood. You couldn't say nothing about the rich Jews 2,000 years ago and probably before that. And you can't say nothing about them now today. Just like what we saw happen to Kanye West. Not that I'm trying to compare him to Jesus at all. So don't get me confused, you guys. But he's an example of you can't say nothing about the rich Jews. Even if it's true, you better shut up. And that goes back all the way to the days of Jesus Christ, it seems, and maybe before. You know? And it's like, man, that's like, whoa. You know? But, um, yeah, man, you know, when my nephew got sick, um, he had an encounter with Jesus Christ. And in that situation, Jesus told him that he wasn't going to die. He said God, but. Like I said, I don't really feel like God deals with our petty little problems. That's Jesus that has all this love for us like that. You know, God loves us. Don't get it wrong, but I feel like he's really the one, you know. But, man, when that happened with my nephew, um, you know, his dad died from cancer. His grandfather died from cancer. You know, it, it, he was scared, man. He was scared. And he lost all fear of death. 11 year old child. 
He trusted what Jesus told him. So Jesus don't lie. You know, and it's like he's re he's revealed himself to millions of people around the world throughout history, you know, and saved so many people from hell and from death and from so many things. It took five surgeries at the Mayo Clinic to save my nephew. So it wasn't an easy thing, man, you know, but I believe my, my faith is, is kind of blind in a way because um, I've never had an encounter with Jesus Christ in me. But I know that um, a lot of people have, and I know that he's changed a lot of horrible people and a lot of lost souls into righteous individuals, you know? So I know this is real, you know? And one thing I've noticed is Throughout the Bible, um, it's littered with killers and people that had really unsavory reputations at one point or another, you know, from David to Moses to Paul to Solomon, etc. A lot of killers in the Bible that God chose for certain things, you know. That's a fact. You know, I mean, um, <clears throat> Moses failed. God, he spent all that time with God and still failed though, you guys. He broke the tablets. He didn't listen when God said, um, I mean, he was supposed to talk to the rock and he hit it with his stick instead. And then he said, we, instead of God. And for that, they say Moses didn't make it to heaven. They say he failed God and was punished. You know, so... You know, I've seen miracles. I've seen supernatural things. But I've never had an encounter with Jesus. And I, I don't need to. Okay? Now, here's some proof. The body of Jesus Christ cannot be found. Okay? As far as biblical proof. Um, as far as Lot, Sodom, and Gomorrah, sulfur balls, all type of evidence that that city was really destroyed. That they were really destroyed like the way it says in the Bible evidence um Moses splitting the Red Sea there's chariots at the bottom of the Red Sea um that split rock is there the sand is burnt at the shore um these are facts um Noah's Ark they say they found the Ark I mean we'll debate you know that can be debated we'll say but here's the thing about Jesus Christ. He's in all three books. He's in the Bible. He's in the Quran. He's in the Torah. With the same story and the same works and the same miracles. Now, how whether he was crucified, now they debate that. Okay? They debate whether he was, how and whether he was crucified. Okay? So they take that from him. That's where they go wrong is they take that from them, you know? And, you know, in all these books, he never lied one time. He's the way, he's the truth, and he's the life. And there is a zero, throughout the Bible, there's no characters that even compare to Jesus Christ. There's none that even come close. None of the prophets, none of them. None of these other false gods, none of them, none of them. None of them compared to them, not even close, you guys. You know, and it's like people will say the flood didn't happen, this, that, the other. You know, and it's like the flood 
is recorded in all civilizations, all religions, all civilizations, the flood is recorded in. You know, that's that's how you know that's real. And, you know, I'm not here to really debate anything never with people. Never, ever am I debating anything with you. I'm not. That's not what I'm doing. You know, but all non-believers in the end will declare that Jesus Christ is our Lord, our King, and our Savior. You know, and that's happening right now. You're seeing it with all the fake celebrities, all all the all the the rappers, all, all the YouTubers. But you know what the thing is? It's just because you declare this like he said you were gonna doesn't mean that you won't still die anyway. So that great terrible day of you know judgment it's not going to be fun for probably all a lot of us man probably not me probably not y'all only a few of us are going to make it Moses didn't make it and he put in all that work but he still didn't fully listen so if you guys think that any of this stuff is actually made up, go check out everything that I just told you. You know, go check out everything that I just spoke upon. And, you know, tell me, am I crazy? You know, does this sound fictitious? fictitious? You know? That's what it is. They started our timeline over because of the existence of Jesus Christ. Who else did they do that for? Who else was that significant? There's just, you guys gotta pay attention to everything I just said. I'm done with it.